What's going on guys, Infinite Lists here. Before the video starts, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any giveaways, shoutouts, and much more. All you have to do to enter any of those is be subscribed. And comment down below saying that you subscribe so I know. Make sure to turn on my notifications so you'll be able to know when any giveaways or shoutouts are up and to let you know when I upload any cool videos. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter for any updates about the channel and any updates on the giveaways and such. Today we are going to be talking about Unbox Therapy. This channel has grown massively over the past year. They are the biggest tech channel on YouTube with almost 6 million subscribers. Number 1. Lewis Hilsentegger is the main unboxer on the show. On all of his videos he goes by Lou so we'll just call him that. Lou was born on May 5th, 1984, which makes him about 32 years old. Which isn't that bad for having 6 million subscribers. Lou was born in Toronto, Canada. He is also married and has one other brother. Number 2. Lou was a tech guru growing up and he loved all the techie gadgets or anything he could get his hands on. Unbox Therapy actually started out by Lou just working in a computer repair shop. People were going inside the shop and asking questions and then he realized that he could be answering these questions easier by just making quick videos about the products and unboxing. He then started his own YouTube channel which grew to the size that it is today. What Lou did in college makes up for what he has now. Lou went to a school of art in Toronto where he did digital art, photography, and video editing. He is very obsessed with production quality as you can tell by all of his videos. They are all professional looking which is a very good quality to have in YouTube videos. Number 4. As I talked about before, Lewis is the main person unboxing all of these products. There, but there is someone else behind all the editing and cameras. And his name is Jack. As Lou says, Jack helps in all aspects in the channel and its management. Subscribers of Unbox Therapy actually think that Jack wasn't even real. There was even a petition made to reveal Jack's face. Up until this day, a lot of people don't even believe that Jack's still real, but, but a little while back, Jack actually revealed his voice. He talked in one of the videos which made a lot of subscribers go crazy, because no one actually believed he existed. That's like a real life thing. Real issue, yeah. The blowing thing. B real life thing. Real issue, yeah. The blowing thing. Number 5. Unbox Therapy wasn't actually Lou's first channel he had made. Lou had a channel called More Top 5. This channel is still up and running, but they haven't been active in almost a year now. But this channel actually almost has 400,000 subscribers. Yes! Top 5. We should do this more often, guys. I like it. What's up guys, Lou here, back with another Top 5 video here on More Top 5, and today we are going to be checking out the Top 5 Most Expensive Homes. Coming in at number 5, we're going to take a trip to the UK, London more specifically, and the very prestigious street of Kensington Palace Gardens. Purchased by... This channel does not have a lot of uploads, but it was doing pretty well, as you can see on the video views. Unbox Therapy has almost 6 million subscribers and a reason that is is because Lou had a viral video. A lot of you may know this as the iPhone 6 Ben test. This was actually an Unbox Therapy video. And I saw this a long time ago, even before I knew anything about Unbox Therapy. What's up guys, Lou here, back with another video, and today we're going to be doing the official iPhone 6 Plus Bend Test. Let's get into the iPhone 6 Plus Bend Test. So there you have it guys, unfortunate, but under the pressure of my hands, it does bend quite significantly, specifically around this portion here where the buttons were. My, my focus was more in the center portion, but it seems to be a weak point up here near the button cutouts. But this video has a crazy 68 million views, and this is actually what blew up their channel to what it is today. This inspired them to upload daily content of more unboxing to create the business they are. Lou was actually the first person to test if the iPhone 6 bends, and that is why that video went so viral. Number 6. As Lou started this off just as a fun hobby, he has actually gained quite a bit of financial worth. His net worth is worth 1.9 million dollars, and he is just growing faster than ever, so I don't think that's going to lower anytime soon. Number 7. 
Just yesterday, Unbox Therapy gained a massive 50,000 subscribers in one day. They have been going around the news recently in drama alert and scarce because apparently a little while back, Lou promised to give away some iPhones. In the video he shows hundreds of iPhones, but only 9 people have been found to actually have gotten an iPhone from Unbox Therapy. This was a big controversy because he gained a ton of subscribers off this. The video itself had over 10 million views. A lot of people were mad, but in the video he did say he was giving away some iPhones, not all, so I wouldn't blame him. Some people had been going through the video and noticed that the iPhones didn't have this seam in the middle of the box, which real iPhones do. So people think that Lou had bought a bunch of empty cases for iPhones just to get a ton of subscribers. And recently he actually did delete the iPhone 6s giveaway video which had over 10 million views, so none of us really know if it's fake or real. We're just waiting for a response by Unbox Therapy. Well, that should be it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy this top 7 things you do not know about Unbox Therapy. Let me know if you know something else I didn't list. Let's try to hit 500 likes on this video, and I'm hoping you guys are liking these daily uploads. They've been doing pretty well for my channel switch, so I thank you guys. I'm going to continue doing daily uploads, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. That's going to be it, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Okay.